So you say that, so adenosine has a neuroprotective role, kind of like lactate does in the context of exercise, BHB in the context of fasting. So adenosine is sort of related to how long have I been awake? How much have the cells been doing something? Lactate is, is very much tied to exercise, right? Like I'm working out my muscles, they're starting to burn. Lactate is a signal behind that. And then BHB is sort of a comparable signal in the context of fasting or starvation. We're running out of energy inputs. And so BHB goes up and tells the different networks in the body that that's the case. Why are things like lactate, BHB, and adenosine neuroprotective? What's sort of the common denominator here? And why is this, why was this a way that sort of evolution uh, seemed to set things up where you have these core metabolites that serve this n- protective role in this case for neurons when we are under s- stress-like states like exercise or fasting or just prolonged wakefulness? 